Hey there, lovely people. Welcome back to those who've been here before and a warm hello to my new viewers. Today, we're diving into a topic that's close to many hearts and other body parts, sexual satisfaction in relationships. It's a subject that can make some folks blush, but it's so important for our overall happiness and well-being. This is Love Lessons Lounge. After spending years researching and teaching about sex and relationships, my goal is to help people feel more comfortable with their bodies and their desires. We're all on this journey together, and there's no shame in wanting to improve our sex lives. In fact, it's a beautiful thing to want to grow and learn with our partners. Sex is a natural part of life, just like eating or sleeping. But unlike those other activities, we often don't talk about sex enough. That's why I'm here to open up this conversation and give you some practical tips to enhance your sexual satisfaction. Let's start by talking about why sexual satisfaction matters so much in relationships. It's not just about physical pleasure, though that's certainly nice. Sexual satisfaction is deeply linked to overall relationship satisfaction. When couples are happy with their sex lives, they often report feeling closer, more connected, and more in love. Take Sarah and Mark, for example. They came to me feeling frustrated and disconnected. They loved each other deeply, but felt like something was missing. As we talked, it became clear that their sexual needs weren't being met. Sarah craved more emotional intimacy during sex, while Mark wanted to try new things. By addressing these issues, they were able to reignite their passion and strengthen their bond. Sexual compatibility doesn't mean you need to be perfect matches from the start. It's about being willing to learn and grow together. Now let's talk about one of the most powerful tools for improving sexual satisfaction communication. Many of us find it hard to talk about sex even with our partners. We might feel embarrassed, vulnerable, or afraid of rejection, but open, honest communication is key to a fulfilling sex life. Start small. You don't need to have a big, serious conversation right away. Try sharing a compliment about something you enjoy during sex or ask your partner what feels good to them. These little moments of openness can pave the way for deeper discussions later on. It's also helpful to choose the right time and place to talk about sex. Avoid having serious discussions right before or after sex, when emotions might be running high. Once you've opened up the lines of communication, you might find yourselves ready to explore new horizons in your sex life. This doesn't mean you need to swing from the chandeliers or buy a truckload of sex toys, unless you want to, of course. Spicing things up can be as simple as trying a new position or focusing on foreplay for longer. A couple, let's call them Alex and Jamie, had been together for 15 years. They loved each other deeply, but felt their sex life had become routine. We started small with a game of sexy truth or dare. They took turns asking each other questions about fantasies or giving simple challenges like, kiss me somewhere you've never kissed me before. This playful approach helped them rediscover the excitement of exploration. Another great way to explore is through sensual, non-sexual touch. Try giving each other massages or experiment with different textures like feathers or silk. Understanding your body and your partners. Now let's talk about something that's often overlooked understanding our own bodies and our partners. Many of us didn't get great sex education growing up. We might not know all the ins and outs, pun intended, of how our bodies work. But this knowledge is crucial for sexual satisfaction. Start by exploring your own body. Take some time to touch yourself and see what feels good. This isn't just about masturbation. It's about getting to know your body's responses. Where are you sensitive? What kinds of touch do you enjoy? The more you understand your own body, the better you can communicate your needs to a partner. For couples, try a session of mindful touching. Take turns exploring each other's bodies with curiosity, not just focusing on genitals. Notice the texture of skin, the curves and planes of muscles. Debunking common myths about sex. Let's take a moment to bust some common myths about sex. These misconceptions can hold us back from true satisfaction, so it's important to address them head on. First up, the idea that sex should always be spontaneous and passionate. In reality, scheduling sex can be a great way to ensure it happens, especially for busy couples or those with kids. Another myth is that orgasm should always be the goal of sex. While orgasms are wonderful, 
they're not the only measure of good sex. Many people find deep satisfaction in the intimacy and connection of sex, even without orgasm. Focus on pleasure and closeness rather than a specific endpoint. Here's a big one. The myth that men always want sex, and women often don't. This simply isn't true. Sexual desire varies greatly from person to person regardless of gender. Self-care and its impact on sexual satisfaction. Now let's talk about something that might not seem directly related to sex, but is crucial for sexual satisfaction self-care. Taking care of yourself physically, emotionally, and mentally can have a huge impact on your sex life. When you feel good about yourself, you're more likely to feel confident and comfortable during intimate moments. Physical self-care is important. This includes eating well, getting enough sleep, and exercising regularly. These habits boost your energy levels and improve body image, both of which can enhance sexual satisfaction. Another couple, let's call them Tina and Sam, started taking dance classes together. Not only did it improve their fitness, but it also increased their physical connection and confidence. Emotional self-care is equally important. This might involve practices like meditation, journaling, or therapy. When you're in touch with your emotions and able to manage stress effectively, you're more likely to be present and engaged during sex. Embracing growth, a path to fulfillment. As we wrap up, I want to encourage you all to embrace growth in your sexual journey. Remember, there's no perfect sex life that you need to achieve. It's all about finding what works for you and your partner and being open to change and evolution over time. Reflect on your own relationship. What aspects of your sex life are you happy with? What areas could use some attention? Maybe you want to work on communication, or perhaps you're curious about exploring new activities together. Whatever it is, approach it with curiosity and compassion, both for yourself and your partner. Don't be afraid to seek help if you need it. Sex therapists, relationship counselors, and even certain medical professionals can offer valuable guidance. There's no shame in getting support to improve such an important part of your life. In fact, it's a brave and positive step. Share your thoughts and questions in the comments section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay connected.